your grade 4 mathematics teacher. Today, I will discuss with you our new topic for this day. Are you ready to listen? If that is so, open your mind and broaden your thinking. And let's start! Before we proceed to our next lesson, let us review first our previous lesson which was about ordering similar and dissimilar fractions. Choose a happy face if the dissimilar fractions are arranged from least to greatest, and sad face if not. Number 1. Are these dissimilar fractions arranged from least to greatest? If you chose sad face, you are right. Number two. Are these dissimilar fractions arranged from least to greatest? If you chose happy face, you are right again. Number three. Are these the similar fractions arranged from least to greatest? If you chose sad face, you are right. Number four. Are these the similar fractions arranged from least to greatest? If you chose Happy face, you are right again. Number five, are these the similar fractions arranged from least to greatest? If you chose happy face, you are absolutely right. Congratulations, class. You already know how to arrange the dissimilar fractions from list to greatest. And because of that, I will give you confetti! So now, let's proceed to our new topic for this day, which is all about proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. Compare the three sets of fractions. The set A, B, and C. The fractions in set A are called proper fractions. Their numerators are smaller than denominators. As you can see, in 5 over 8, which is 5 is smaller than 8. Likewise, in 2 over 6 and 3 over 4. The fractions in set B are called improper fractions. Their numerators are equal to or bigger than denominators. As you notice, in 3 over 3 is equal to fraction but still it is an improper fraction. As well as in 6 over 5 and 10 over 4, which is the numerator is bigger than denominator. The fractions in set C are called mixed numbers. They are made up of a whole number and a fraction. As you can see, in 1 and 1 fourth, 1 is a whole number and 1 fourth 
is a fraction. Now, let's proceed in changing improper fractions to mix numbers. Example number one. Six over three is an improper fraction. So six divided by three is equal to two because six and three can be divided into two. Then we multiply two and three and the answer is six. So six minus six is zero. And the answer is two, which is a whole number. So we change the improper fraction into a whole number. Example number two. 10 over 4 is an improper fraction. So 10 divided by 4 is equal to 2 because 4 cannot be divided into 10. Then we multiply 2 and 4 and the answer is 8. So 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. So we have 2 and 2 fourths where 2 is a whole number and 2 fourth is a fraction. So what have you noticed, class? Is this the final answer? If your answer is no, that's right. Because we can simplify or reduce the 2 and 4 into 2, which is their GCF. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 2 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, the final answer will be 2 and 1 half. So, we change the improper fraction into mixed numbers. Next is, how do we change mixed number into an improper fraction? To change a mixed number into an improper fraction, multiply the denominator and the whole number, then add the numerator, and copy the denominator. For example, 4 and 3 fifths. We multiply 5 and 4. And the result is 20. Plus 3 is 23. Then copy the denominator, which is 5. And the answer is 23 over 5. Okay, class, let us answer the guided questions. Analyze the given mathematical sentences. Just answer if it is correct or wrong. And I will explain it why. Number one, is the mathematical sentence being correct or wrong? If your answer is correct, you are right. Since 7 times 6 is 42, then add 3 is equal to 45. And copy the denominator, which is 7. Number 2. Is the mathematical sentence being correct or wrong? If your answer is correct, you are right again. Since 9 times 8 is equals to 72, then add 5 and the result is 77 and copy the denominator which is 9. Number 3. Is the mathematical sentence being correct 
or wrong? If your answer is correct, you are right. Since 8 times 9 is 72, then add 7, the answer is 79. And copy the denominator, which is 8. Number 4. Is the mathematical sentence being correct or wrong? If your answer is wrong, you are right. Because 10 times 5 is equals to 50, then add 8. And the result is 58 and copy the denominator, which is 10. Since the answer in the given mathematical sentence is 23 over 10, which makes it wrong. Number 5. Is the mathematical sentence being correct or wrong? If your answer is wrong, you are absolutely right. Because 5 times 10 is equals to 50, then add 2 is equals to 52. And copy the denominator, which is 5. And since the answer in the given mathematical sentence is 57, which makes it wrong. So now, let us check your ability to answer in your own. Direction. Identify each fraction, then choose if it is proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number. Number one. Is it proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number? If you chose proper fraction, you are correct. Number two. Is it proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number? If you chose mixed number, you are right again. Number three. Is it a proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number? If you chose improper fraction, you are right. Number four. Is it a proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number? If you chose proper fraction, you are correct. Number five. Is it a proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number? If you chose proper fraction, you are right again. Good job, class! You can identify what is proper fraction, improper fraction, and a mixed number, as well as how to change improper fraction into a mixed number and vice versa. In this moment, get your formative notebook. Copy and answer the following. Direction. Change each improper fraction into a mixed number or a whole number. Submit your formative notebook tomorrow. Thank you for your cooperation class and I hope you learned something today. See you! Bye-bye!